Welcome to Edisla. Today, we're excited to guide you through the process of checking and adjusting the collimation of your Astra telescope. To get started, find a flat table surface and take a comfortable seat. You'll need a white sheet to place in front of the tube for effective checking. Once your tube setup is ready, eyepiece removed, and the focuser fully down, gently peer into the tube. You should see your eye where the camera would be. A properly collimated telescope presents a clear outer circle, a distinct inner circle, and four equal quadrants. If you notice slight shifts in the image when changing your viewing angle, that's completely normal, as long as the view resembles this pattern. If it looks like this, your Astra is in good shape. No adjustments are necessary. Now, let's dive into the scenarios where adjustments may be needed. If you observe a partial view, it indicates that the secondary mirror requires adjustment. This common issue is easily fixable. Use a screwdriver to gently turn the center screw counterclockwise by about one degree to loosen the secondary mirror. Be careful not to unscrew it completely, as this could cause the mirror to fall and void your warranty. A slight tweak is all that's needed. Now, hold the base of the secondary mirror gently with two fingers and turn the mirror to the desired position while looking through the telescope. Once you've achieved the correct alignment, lock the mirror screw in place while still supporting its base. Next, check the setup against a white sheet in the background. Your telescope should now be properly collimated. Let's move on to the primary mirror. When the primary mirror is out of collimation, the outer and inner circles remain visible, but the quadrants will lack symmetry. Adjusting this requires no tools. Loosen the lock screws at the bottom gently, avoiding complete detachment to prevent voiding your warranty. While looking through the telescope, carefully adjust the larger screws until symmetry is achieved in the quadrants. This process may take a little time and patience, but with practice, it becomes easier and is especially useful for larger telescopes. Continuously check the symmetry using a white sheet as you make adjustments. Typically, primary mirrors require few adjustments, so this process is not frequent, but is straightforward when needed. Once you've achieved symmetry, gently tighten the locking screws to secure the primary mirror in place. You're now equipped to handle situations where the primary and secondary mirrors are misaligned. When both mirrors are misaligned, begin by adjusting the secondary mirror first, then move on to align the primary mirror. This is essentially a recap of the previous demonstrations. Start with the secondary mirror and finish with the primary mirror. Now that we've successfully completed the collimation of your Astra telescope, keep in mind that this process doesn't require any special tools. It's simple to fix and works with precision. We'll now verify the accuracy with a laser collimator, though you don't need to do this. That's a bullseye, as you can see, indicating perfect collimation. The Astra is designed with high quality materials that ensure collimation is maintained and easily adjustable manually without the need for advanced collimation tools. If you're a beginner and have any concerns, feel free to reach out. We're here to help. And from all of us at Edisla, clear skies.